Yo, what's up? We are now outside of Circle K, my regular testing place. Uh, sorry for the, the the audio. I forgot to bring my microphone. So I have to shout a little bit. I have to adjust it up a little bit. But anyway, it's fairly quiet here. But uh, I will do long, one last video with the Polestar, which is to uh, show you what you can do to heat up the battery. So right now, the poles have been sitting for a long time. Oh, okay, it cleaned the brakes, that's good. Hmm, maybe that's why it's so thirsty. Because the brakes were quite rusty before I started driving, but it has cleaned up the front and the back. I actually didn't, uh, okay, yeah. But what is the purpose of this video? Let me show you now. Just for fun, I will show you what you could do. My, I might not be able to recommend you doing this, but, uh, I'll come back to that why. Okay, all right, I don't know why it says okay, okay. If you look here, we are at 80%. It's zero degrees Celsius outside. The car has been camped. I've just parked outside my home. So I bet the battery temperature right now, just based on what I know, the battery temperature should be around, let's say three to five degrees Celsius. And you see that we have uh, regen limit here. Even at 80% we have regen limit because the battery is cold. This corresponds with everything I know about Tesla and other batteries also. Because in the Tesla I have insight in in the BMS by looking into scan my Tesla. So no, this is, yeah, based on all those indications I know that the battery should be around 5 degrees Celsius. Oh, it's 79% now. Yeah, it's running the heater. But I will show you something. So now we're going to charge the car and let's see how fast it charges so all we have to do open there yeah usually you don't see me do this because I'll be in a, I'll be in a challenge okay let me see let me try to okay this is a bit clumsy I'm, I'm, yeah this is very clumsy let me just uh, put away the camera all right a little cable stretch not too bad actually let me show you my parking you see I even park over the line but well, I've, actually you see the problem I don't know if you see the problem this is a little up to, off topic here but uh, they, par they put the charger right in the middle okay fair enough but then the cable runs from that side so it becomes a little bit challenging but okay it still works all right now let's just start here before it times out you can start it with the Vita RFID okay okay it's uh, connects and everything now I want to stop HVAC because I don't want that one to interfere so oh, okay so what you do now is go to here and then switch off climate control and now let's see how fast are we charging <laughs> okay 33 kilometers per hour but how many kilowatt is that we have no idea no one knows Lord Elon Musk knows 430 volt. Okay, well, that's fine. Okay, very nice to know the voltage, but I would like to know the a number of kilowatts. So, what we can do is we can wait a little bit and then we read from the charger and we calculate based on that. But you see, as expected, we are not charging very fast. This is probably around seven kilowatts, roughly, I think. Yeah, so let's uh, now it's uh, it's uh, 11 20. Okay, let's wait a little bit and then see what happens. Uh, this is weird. You know, I just noticed that it will finish charging at uh, yeah in in about half an hour it will finish charging. But then I saw wait limit set to ninety percent. No 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 no. It was set to ninety percent. But when I came here, I pushed the slider to hundred percent. See. Uh, so I set it to hundred percent. And there is no OK button or set button or whatever. It, it's been set to hundred percent now. Right, you guys see that I'm not kidding with you. And then I come over here, and it still says 90%. <laughs> what is it gonna stop charging at 90%? And okay, but anyway, let's check now. It's been a while. It's been a little while. So let's check how many kilowatt hours we have received, because then we can estimate. Oh, this is good. Okay, so what you can do, quick math. I'm gonna show you what to do. Is once this hit five minutes. Then you can take the kilowatt hour multiplied by by 12 because 12 okay wait 12 times 5 is 60 quick math so you see here we just wait for the five minute mark 
uh, there 1.051 times 12 uh, we are actually getting 12.6 kilowatts 12.6 kilowatt all right so what we will do now is we will heat up the battery by driving it because it takes forever now and what <laughs> the clumsy part is that I wanted to show you how the when it will finish at 100% but uh, unfortunately because of this weird bug then it doesn't show you okay well okay let's just do it at least okay we, we go for 90% right let's go for 90% so you see that <laughs> the funny thing is that this time here keeps increasing as we charge I mean it, it still says in half an hour it will finish you know? <laughs> so we actually don't know how long it will take to reach 90% but we, at least we measure 12.6 kilowatts right now when the battery is pretty cold so now I will show you how you can heat up the battery so the trick goes as follows I've done this before with my Tesla Model X but I will just show you what that you can do the same thing with a Polestar what you do is you region and then you hammer it it's the yo-yo I've been talking about if you don't know what it is so you just region okay well there's a little bit of traffic there let me just and then hammer it Oh, I have to say it's pretty quick it's it's fairly quick though even when the battery is cold so you see you want to go a little bit slower and then I also do this at night because we have low traffic slow down slow down a little bit more okay wait for the car to pass and then go for it I mean we have so many lanes here anyway so no big deal so what you want to do is just drive this kind of yo-yo this is the trick I use to also heat up the battery right before I fast charge it to get better heat in the battery and it actually did the trick at the last charging session it didn't do it in the first and the second one because I didn't do it long enough so this is not something I recommend you doing <laughs> bear in mind that it's not recommended to do this actually yeah you guys can probably explain why but uh, you might be putting some extra stress to the drivetrain, but on the other hand, the drivetrain seems very solid. It doesn't seem like uh, it takes any big uh, pun like, uh, punishment from hammering a little bit. So by doing this, okay, let me explain what happens though. When you when you floor it, the power you need lots of power output, which the the battery delivers, but because you have high power output, high C rating, heat will be generated in the, the battery. And this is how you heat up the battery by doing yo-yo. And also, you also get a little bit when you regen. And we can see that, oh yeah, so you see the regen limit has disappeared now. And the interesting part is that if we do this long enough, the yo-yoing, then suddenly we actually start seeing regen limit also. But okay, I'm going to do a little bit more yo-yo and then try to get back to the back to the charging station again okay this is this is the thing I was talking about when you've been hammering it for a while you know the first the the region limit disappeared but then because I've been yo-yoing a lot then I suddenly see mo region limit appearing again <laughs> which is a bit confusing because you might be thinking wait what the heck what happened now uh, do you have lower charging power? Well, let's get back to the charger Okay, we're back at the gas station and the charging station over here. Ooh, nice ionic But anyway, so we spend oh, okay almost 10 minutes just uh, you oh, shit, This is always a problem. Okay, always a problem when I film uh, a screen So you see we spend almost 10 minutes just yo-yoing around and you see that we have okay a little bit of uh, char uh, region limit and we're down to 75% so now we're going to plug in and see what happens so this time I did a better parking job so if we look here we have plenty of space here that's fine and the self-charging Toyota is just parked here it's it's doing the inductive uh, charging now I mean jokes aside uh, I think this guy he is one of the employees so he parks here at night and he can he, they will probably move the car if we tell them that you are blocking it so no big deal yeah 
so you know you haters gonna hate <laughs> this is great parking I should have parked even closer but anyway back to the point here yes I'm waste just digging around here at night that's usually what I do so now we try again plug it plug it in okay I need two hands all right all that's good and now we start charging let me again turn off HVAC because we won't, don't want that to interfere with uh, yeah we don't want it to pull extra power we just want to see how much it's pulling and then they go here go to the charge screen actually you know when I think about this after using it going a little back and forth there should be a quick button to the charge screen just like in a Tesla once you use Tesla you realize how convenient it is to have a quick uh, a quick button to the charge screen you have to go you have to tap twice to get to the charge screen. but look here you guys remember how many kill I mean, how many kilometers per hour we was supposed we were getting it was around 35 wasn't it suddenly we get 128 kilometers per hour and okay it says that it will complete that yeah I mean we spend a little bit of energy so that's why you have to to do um, longer but unfortunately I wanted to show you what happens if you set it to 100% because uh, let me see, will it update now? Maybe maybe this one is a bit laggy. Uh, okay, it hasn't. <laughs> it has, what's wrong with this car? Yeah, okay, okay. I will. Uh, iMove will uh, take it back tomorrow. So no worries, no worries. I set it to 100%. But what I wanted to show you, that which I fail at right now, is that if we set it to 100%, um, it should say something like uh, we will finish in two hours or three hours. But if I did the yo-yo, and I come back, the time to 100% will be shorter. So my point is that by even when you spend extra energy and you spend extra time yo-yoing, when you come back here and start plugging in, you will actually finish charging faster. Hmm, yeah. Okay, let's wait a little bit and then we can calculate the average speed again. All right, just like last time, you just wait for the five minute mark and then you multiply the kilowatt hour by 12, easy. Yeah, let's see. It's going to be two point something. I have my calculator ready. Well, let me see. There, it usually ticks at the same. Yeah, two point eight eight eight. Okay, two point eight eight eight. Two point nine 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 would have been better, but okay. Multiply by twelve. Oh, thirty four point seven. Thirty four point seven kilowatt versus twelve point six. So you see, we basically triple the charging speed here by heating up the battery. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, that is cool. And let me show you inside here. I was getting, uh, it's, it seems to go a little bit up and down, you see, now it's, now it says 129, okay, but, oof, okay, uh, the, te the um, charging test is done, so now I want to fire up the heater, well, I can actually just do auto here, and then I can also do this, and then start preheating, cooling, so, and actually, interesting, it's interestingly, when you start preheating or cooling, you see that we were getting 130 kilowatt, uh, sorry, kilometers per hour, and then it's temporarily dropped and then it went up again. So, um, hmm, wait, did, it, did it go higher? <clears throat> because it seems like with this car, it's smart enough like most EVs is that whenever you are, when you are, we are charging like now, if the heater pulls one or two extra kilowatt, it doesn't sacrifice the, the power going into the battery. The battery will still be getting 35, 36 kilowatt and then you just pull a little bit extra from the charger because the charger is capable of delivering 150 kilowatts. The only exception I found was actually um, a leaf. Well, we have a leaf over there. Yeah, the leaf will not do that. The leaf will, whatever goes into the battery, let's say 20 kilowatt, and then you run the heater the heater takes one kilowatt and then the battery gets only 19 kilowatt. <laughs> yeah, instead of asking for 21 kilowatt and then you put one in the heater. Yeah, you know what I mean. So, um, you know, should you do this if your battery is too cold with your EV or Polestar, whatever, mm, at your own risk. Okay, I, I don't make, I didn't make this video to recommend you that this is the way to do it, to heat up the battery. No, no, no. I think to me, it was more like for fun. It was more like a, like a f fun physical experiment. And personally, I don't think we hurt the battery. We, we don't, we don't destroy the car. We don't hurt the drivetrain or the, the battery and thing. It's just, I mean, if the, 
if we would hurt the battery, the BMS would most likely limit the power output or something, you know, it limit the motor if it's too cold or whatever. So I think uh, most EVs out there, they are foolproof. You don't uh, simply, like you can in the fossil car, you can miss clutch, you can ruin the gearbox if you uh, drive uh, at 100 kilometers per hour and then you put the car in reverse or something like that. But most EVs, they are very foolproof. The BMS, if the, if the battery is too cold, you can't output more power or if the battery is too cold you can't simply charge it, overcharge it uh, too fast or whatever so but again you know, I just have to do all this disclaimer that um, yeah so don't listen to me but just look at this as entertainment and maybe a little bit of uh, education that this is this is the way batteries work that uh, when you output and also this also means that okay I'm, I keep interrupting myself sorry for that it's getting late but yeah, uh, um, it means that when you when you hammer it, you know you can heat the battery by uh, getting getting some of the heat out. But it also means that uh, if you hammer it, you will also lose extra heat. So if you um, if it matters and you want to save energy, then you should try to avoid V VOT. Right? VOT is called wide open throttle, uh, but it means just you know floor it then it's better to maybe not use full throttle when you accelerate or when you want to overtake or something because I learned this the hard way in the old days when I draw a uh, Millennium Falcon in Germany I noticed that when I draw at 200 kilometers per hour and I just floor it the percent dropped faster than I expected and this is like a this is like a the, the thing we did today is like a physical experiment to confirm that that's how it works. So again, guys, I don't recommend doing this. It was just for fun to show you what happens with everything, with the charging and with the... Uh, yeah. And another thing, yeah, another uh, observation we see now, which also makes sense. Uh, it might be weird for some people, but um, you see, we were getting 130 kilowatt. Why are we suddenly getting... Oh, sorry. Uh, we were getting 130 kilometers per hour. Why are we suddenly getting 108 kilometers per hour now? Well, it's because the battery... Uh, you go higher up here in the state of charge, you know? And that's why it has to start throttling. But of course, if the battery was warmer, it was, let's say, 30 degrees Celsius, then it can probably take uh, at least 150 to 170 kilometers per hour. Yeah which is around, it should at least be able to take 40, 45 kilowatt at this state of charge. So uh, to me, it's very interesting how the, all this stuff works and it's always fun to do some uh, some experiment to, to show you guys practically how it works. But all right, that was fun for me. I hope it was fun for you. And uh, I think that's gonna be it. So this will be the last video of the Polestar. Tomorrow morning, IMU will pick it up and then I will um, I will actually be away for a little bit. I will go on the long trip with wifey <clears throat> Finally, and then um, I will subscribe to another car from IMU, but I'm not going to reveal it yet All I can say is that It contain the name the model name contains a three Yeah, okay. I think that's gonna be it for now. Hope you guys enjoy this video as always Thank you for watching and talk to you later